God kingdom. To take dominion, be fruitful, multiply, replenish it with light. You have the ability to function like the Most High you are gods, but you just don't know it. Only you can light up a dark world. The Old Testament is your North Star, guiding you to the Son of God, the Second Adam, the God Kingdom. This visual is seen in the Christmas story, where the wise men went on a journey, guided by the star, to see the Son of God. The gifts represent their wealth and strength. The Son came to seek and to save that which was lost. Who and what was lost? The who is the descendants of the Father, Adam God Kingdom, was lost. What was lost? The identity of God's children was lost. Like the eagle that was raised in the chicken coop, he starts to believe that he is a chicken. Mankind is the lost sheep, and has been discovered, and placed on the shoulders of the second Adam, and put back into his rightful place. The foundations of the world were out of place, and caused the world to be dark. The government, the kingdom, was placed on the shoulders of the second Adam and restored. The lost has now been found. So rise and take the earth. The light has come to you, and now is the time to set order to the universe. Set order to your own body, and to your mind and soul. Take dominion, be fruitful, multiply and replenish the earth. You are the good Samaritan. You see your brother, battered and bruised, and broken, but your religious outfit won't allow you to feel for your brother, so you walk to the other side of the road. It's your job to pick up your brother and help him finish his journey. You may have found yourself battered, broken, and bruised along your journey. It doesn't matter what happened to you, but what does matter is that you get up and finish your journey. You must discover light. You must be one with light. You must discover your glow, then and only then can you light up a dark world. God plus earth equals. Who does your child look like? I think it's clear that the male plants his seed into woman and she brings forth a child. I also believe that it is widely accepted that the body of the child comes from the woman. I think the birthing process is evident and also resembles nature in that if you plant a seed in the ground, whatever seed type it is, it's going to harvest and produce fruit. So it's clear, if I plant an apple seed into the earth, I will reap a tree along with apples. I want to make sure we are all on the same page, so if I plant a fig seed, I will get a fig tree and some fig fruit. So my question, if God plants his seed DNA, spirit, light in the earth, what would they create? I mean honestly, we see what happens when apple and fig seeds are planted into the earth, but ask yourself the question, if God plants his seed into the earth, what do they produce? If two living organisms, masculine and feminine, seed and soil come together in the reproductions process, duplication, procreation, multiplying and propagation is the natural result. God said, let us make the man humanity, God kingdom in our image and after our likeness. They should take dominion, be fruitful, multiply and replenish the earth. Take the newly created and spread them throughout the earth. I think this one of the most overlooked passages in scripture. Historically, I feel we have disregarded, neglected and just ignored one of the most powerful aspects of the creation story. Christianity gives credit to the Trinity Father, Son, Spirit, but I think we may have misjudged. The fact is that three masculines cannot reproduce life makes me believe the world has miscalculated and made an incorrect estimation of what the scripture is saying. God planted his seed into the earth and gave birth to 